Hey guys, what's going on? Back with another Cold War Zombies video. And as you guys know, a few days ago, we got the release of Mauder Toten, the new zombie survival, round based survival mode in Cold War. And within that update and release of the map, we got a couple new calling cards. Uh, well, challenges and calling cards specific for Mauder Toten. And if you complete them, again, you unlock some calling cards in. One of those calling cards might actually hint slash maybe leak who the the one is um, or maybe one of the final I'm gonna call it like maybe the final bosses uh, don't know necessarily if it's gonna be the one and uh, so before I go any further this is gonna be more a little bit theory based and a lot more of what I would want um, not necessarily what I think is coming but more of like what I want. Kind of like think about it like if you're getting a new car for your birthday. I'm not guessing what car I'm going to get. I'm guessing what car I want to get. So uh, as you see I'm scrolling through the tabs. And there's a new Mauder Toten tab with some challenges. And the first one you get just and the most simplest one probably in there is to unlock Pack-A-Punch. And then you get a new calling card that shows a giant spider. Now, for the first theory part, it could hint at uh, when Samantha came out of the Dark Ether portal in Firebase Z, she had what looked like Takio's katana and kind of dressed a little bit like a, um, a, a character or a real life person, not really, well it could be a character, but a real life person um, that got stranded on the island of... Um, Zetsubo Nishima, I forget the real name, I think, um, I forget what the real name is, anyways, uh, well, it's not really important, the more important part is Zetsubo Nishima, uh, and it could be hinting of the giant spider that was in, um, Zetsubo Nishima, it, it was kind of like a mini boss that you got in between, uh, the easter egg steps, and then you can get a free Widow's Wine, could be hinting also at Widow, Widow's Wine coming down the road, um, but I think it's more hinting at the giant spider. So that is kind of my theory is like, hey, maybe it's hinting. Uh, maybe we're going to go back to Zetsubo Nishima. Maybe it's going to have more tie-ins to um, Takio. Uh, so right here, I'm kind of scrolling through it looking for the, the tab. But I'm going to skip ahead because I have it on the next screen. Uh, so again, this is kind of the theory part where it could hint at Zetsubo Nishima. Uh, it could hint that, hey, maybe we're going to see something with Takio or it's going to link up with Takio. Uh, but then again, I'm going to talk about more of what I would want it to actually mean, which it probably 90% isn't going to be what we're going to get. But uh, of course, it's probably already made. Uh, the maps are made months and months in advance. I don't think um, the devs at Treyarch are kind of scrounging, kind of get finishing up the map this late. Uh, because if you keep in mind, we're probably going to get uh, another outbreak map, then maybe another survival, uh, which is only like maybe a month or two months from now. I don't think they're really going to stretch this out unless we get like a, a year or two uh, content for Cold War. So again, just kind of go over going over some stuff. Um, right now, I'm the theory part would be like, hey, maybe when Samantha came out of the fire, uh, Bay Z portal it could and she was dressed kind of like um, uh, Or like had Takio's katana maybe she went back to Zetsu Bonishima and I don't know if it's proven yet in game if you can use the dark ether portal to travel forwards and backwards in time and space um, But it could mean like hey, maybe she somehow went back to uh, Zetsu Bonishima uh, and maybe the the giant spider is probably the one um, I'm not gonna tell you for sure where this or Treyarch's idea came from um, because I tell people think about the zombies games ever since probably Black Ops 1 it's heavily inspired by pop culture and especially movies so if you think in mind I'm not even gonna give any hints but if you look at the overall giant picture of what is in Cold War and look at the storylines and the narrative it and then you look at this giant spider it could have been 
a big hint, tease, or leak by Treyarch um, that the one is a giant spider. Maybe it's going to, again, tie into Zetsubo Nishima. Maybe the giant spider was the one or a variation of the one. Um, so it was kind of strange to see this. Like, I know the reference, just in case anybody from, I always say this, just in case anybody from Treyarch says it, uh, sees this, I, I know exactly this big giant spider reference and the story that we're going through, um, kind of even Samantha's story. Uh, but I'm, I'm not going to talk about that. I'm not going to give like the solve per se, because I could just kind of, you know, take some photos off of Google, paste some stuff together and tell you, hey, this is what the story is right now. I'm trying to, like I mentioned in the past, get more people into doing theories again. Uh, I know, and I've mentioned this multiple times, people are scared to put themselves out there. Uh, they don't want to get ridiculed by other zombie YouTubers, YouTubers their subs, or, or uh, maybe even people from Treyarch for some reason. So people just want to play it safe. They, they just want to use the intel that Treyarch gives them in the game and use that for their theories and stuff like that. People don't want to venture out away from that out of their comfort zone because they're probably in the past got made fun of um, for making uh, outlandish theories that might eventually come true um, but so the giant spider is hinting that it could be the one again if you knew the backstory and the lore and the narrative you'll know exactly that that could be the solve but I'm not gonna go explain what that is but necessarily what I would want it to be so Going forward now, again, when she stepped out of the um, the Dark Ether portal, she had what looks like uh, Taki's katana. Maybe she went back to Zetsubu Nishima, and the giant spider maybe ties into everything. Um, but I'm not going to get into solves or too much about that theory. So moving forward, what I would want is, um, and this kind of is very influenced in... Um, Treyarch games probably going back maybe even black ops 1 definitely black ops 2 and definitely black ops 3 that in the terminator universe um there's a giant spider that protects the skynet core or base and um if like i hinted at before if you knew the original influence and this happens in every genre of movies and books People love stuff when they were a kid, and then they're like, oh, let me rewrite it, and I'm going to use that giant spider that I saw in this. But instead of it being that, I'm going to put it as a giant spider that protects the, the Skynet core. So what would be cool, and again, this is just kind of what I would want, not necessarily, hey, this is what I think Treyarch's going to do. If the giant, one, the one which is the giant spider is protecting maybe the Cronorium, uh, kind of like paralleling or symbolizing how uh, this is the giant spider in the Terminator lore is called the T1 million, which is the most powerful Terminator, uh, and that's why it's the one that's protecting, let's say, the Cronorium or the the Skynet core, which is uh, it's a computer based system, and kind of think of like uh, Google. If you go to Google's headquarters and destroy their servers and database, then you're going to take down the whole network. So that's exactly the same thing. And it's written all over Treyarch, uh, Black Ops, Zombies, uh, and, and campaign lore that there's a lot of Terminator references in, um, in Black Ops. So this is what I would want, which I think would just blow everybody away. But again, I have to mention that the game and map is probably already finished. So whatever um, ending they have, it's probably already made. Um, but hey, if this was like something that I was making or I wanted, or what I would want is the T1 million uh, similar to the one and the giant spider. And again, if you knew the, the origins of it, um, that the giant spider, again, is it has to be the most powerful entity, kind of like the one is. And in the Terminator lore, the T1 million, again, is the most powerful uh, entity in all of um, Sky. I mean, at one point, I know they kind of um, change a lot of different things because the movies uh, are so behind uh, from, like, I think, comics and books and stuff like that. 
but at one point um, the T1 million was the most powerful entity in all of um, the Terminator lore and that's why it's the one that um, and here is a concept art of uh, another version of the T1 million again it's it's uh, represented as a giant spider which is funny because, <laughs> because spiders are probably what people fear the most. So I can see the psychology behind it. Uh, here's another CGI rendering of it. Um, so that would be amazing if we went to um, wherever and we had to fight a giant spider or the one. We went to the Dark Aether. It would probably have to happen maybe an outbreak, I would assume, because... Uh, it would have to be such a big entity that you can only probably fight it in um, in outbreak because of the size uh, that it would need. Anyways, moving again forward. So this is the Skynet core. Um, again, it looks more like a pyramid, which is pretty funny. And uh, again, this story has been kind of used and evolved in other pop culture movies and books and stuff like that but basically the skynet core is um is what needs to be protected the most because if you go in there and you nuke it or whatever uh and you destroy all the databases and computers and stuff like that you take down all the the computers and and um and robots and stuff like that, they won't function because they're taking, they're taking their orders from uh, the Skynet core. Uh, again, that could be hinted at even, um, kind of going back to the theory of like Klaus, Klaus being a giant, uh, not a giant robot, but Klaus being a, a robot. Now, what would be cool, again, like more stuff that I would want, I'm not saying like, hey, it's solved, that's definitely what's going to happen, but what if like Klaus went into the dark ether and got corrupted by like Skynet or the One? And they end up using uh, Klaus against us um, in maybe another map or something like that. Uh, again, this is all more stuff that I would want. Again, that, if you're not familiar with Skynet, it's uh, it's a big computer system that controls. I'm not going to go into the um, how Skynet came about. I think you can kind of just research that and watch videos on your own. I'm not going to go about how you know it started out as one little thing, then it evolved into this, and then evolved into that. The military bought the the rights to the the Skynet program, use it in all our machines. If you actually want um, to stay within Black Ops and learn more about it, just uh, play Black Ops 3. You'll get the big picture without having to watch movies, maybe. Uh, that's why I tell people, Black Ops 3's campaign, as odd and different as it is, is probably the most important because who's to say that, like, that a lot of our characters aren't going forwards and backwards in, in time. That maybe Black Ops 3 might actually be the uh, the starting point of this whole mess. That maybe at one point in the future they created the system. And then a lot of the characters go backwards and forwards in time. That maybe Vietnam was just ha happened in one way um, because of what happened in the future. They would go back and try and change or get rid of some, some people like that. Uh, again, not going to go too much into that theory stuff, but uh, it would be cool if, uh, or if you wanted, again, to learn more about it, just play Black Ops 3. Uh, again, so my, kind of what I would want would be like, if the Skynet, okay, so this is the core in the top pyramid base, but down deep below is like, think of it like a hive, and that's a thing to kind of think of it like, I think that's what they took inspiration from also, is Resident Evil, uh, and I forget the name, the Umbrella Corporation. You see what's up top, but everything is below it, and I probably should have, or think like an ant farm, or ants, or, or moles, or, um, or groundhogs that live underground, they dig all these different um, crevices and stuff like that that are deep on the ground so this is just like a small little top layer but deep underneath it could go down for like hundreds of miles and the core is like underneath so what i would want would be cool is like what if like the pyramid is up top like a giant pyramid of sorts and then we go below into buried and then we have to like destroy the skynet core i mean like the uh the one or the core the crinorium maybe the crinoriums like buried underneath the ground um and then you have to like destroy the crinorium or maybe destroy 
uh, maybe computer based and stuff like that maybe we're thinking that we're in the 80s but maybe we got to go to the future or maybe uh, buried instead of being in a western town which I think people will be upset I think if it got remastered into a newer version uh, so somehow they probably have to keep that western theme going but how cool would it be if we go underground uh, and we have to go destroy Skynet or the Cronorium or some type of database or the one maybe the one lives underneath and we have to destroy him or maybe like a two-part version or two-part conclusion kind of like Gorod Krovi in the first part we <clears throat> we destroy like maybe the, the giant one and in the final uh, we have to destroy like the database and stuff like that would be uh, kind of cool um, but I mean that's pretty much wraps up like again this isn't necessarily a theory but as much as what I would want uh, because the one might again be a giant spider so I'm like hey if we take the idea of Skynet and the T1 million protecting maybe the Cronorium or prote protecting um, the somewhat like database or core system or whatever that would be kind of cool anyways if you have any questions let me know I think that pretty much uh, I mean this is kind of like, like 16 minutes long so I, I think I pretty much kind of outlined it pretty well uh, just a rough idea rough blueprint of like what uh, I would want of, go of course like I said the game is already made the maps probably already made uh, they're probably moving on to the next game and stuff like that or maybe year two content uh, so again this could be hinting of what the one is I'm not going to tell you again what the original spider is in all of like pop culture lore but if you look at some movies and, and different things you'll know the importance of the the spider uh, and why it probably was in the, the Skynet Terminator lore anyways I'll see you guys later